how to start a hardware store in Uganda. Do you have a passion for starting your own hardware store in Uganda? This guide is yours. Now let's dive in right away. A typical hardware store in Uganda is a brick and mortar business where a salesperson directly sells hardware products to clients who need them. Products sold in hardware stores include the following. Niles, iron sheets, cement, paints and many more. Starting a hardware business just like any other business follows steps. So let's look at the steps to start a hardware store. Step 1. Make a business plan. The first step on how to start a hardware store in Uganda is making a business plan. Your business plan should show details on how you will start or and build a successful hardware store. Step 2. Raise capital. After coming up with the business plan, you need to raise capital to start your hardware store. The capital required to start a small hardware is 5 million Uganda shillings to 50 million Uganda shillings. The capital required to start a big hardware is 100 million Uganda shillings to any other bigger amount. There are many sources you can use to raise this capital and they include savings, bank loans, venture capitalists, and investors. The most commonly used method in raising capital to start a hardware store in Uganda, using bank loans together with personal savings. Step 3. Find a suitable location. Brick and mortar businesses thrive most in busy places because there, they get a lot of exposure. As you are starting your hardware store in Uganda, you need to keep an eye on the location of your hardware store. Finding a busy location should be the ideal plan. Step 4. Register your hardware business. In order to operate without any interference from the government, you need to get licenses and permits required to run a hardware store. If you want to know more about the permits and licenses required to start a hardware store, visit your town council or city council offices near you. Step 5. Get suppliers. As a hardware store owner, you need suppliers who will provide you with stock to sell. You need to establish a good relationships between you and the suppliers. With a good relationships between you and your suppliers, you can start getting stock at credit and pay later. Step 6. Hire workers. Most hardware stores require more than one worker. You will need to hire employees to help you run your hardware store business. When hiring employees, you need to consider the following. Their qualifications. The need for employees available, and the size of your hardware store. Step 7. Start your hardware store. Last but not least is starting your hardware store. After successfully completing all the aforementioned steps, I can gladly say you are ready to open your hardware store to your customers. But not to forget, you need to promote your new hardware to your customers. You can use many methods to promote your hardware store. For more info, visit infantentrepreneur.com. Have you found this video helpful? Like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.